Back in the summer of 1967, a man visited the Arlesdale Railway and took notes of the engines there. A few months later, that fall, he published a book about the railway. The man was Wilbert Audrey himself. The book got the railway lots of new tourists similar to how the same thing saved the Scarlowy Railway from bankruptcy in the 1950s. The railway gained enough money to finally send Rex to the works. One day Rex was talking to Duck about the railway's recent success. Can you believe that someone wrote a book about me, Bert and Mike? Yes I can. That same person wrote tons of books about the Northwestern Railway. He even wrote three about the Scarlowy Railway and one about the Coldefell Railway. Wait. Did you say just you, Bert and Mike? Won't Frank be upset about this? You know how much he wants attention. He's not going to find out. But little did the two engines know that Frank was listening the entire time. It actually explained a lot for him. For the past two weeks, people always asked him if he knew Mike, Rex and Bert and now it finally made sense. He decided to confront the other three engines that night. I'm tired of being left behind because of you three. I deserve to be in that book. I have many exciting adventures here too. Like when I got the maintenance train or when I got my new shed. The other three just teased Frank. If you guys don't respect me then I shouldn't be a part of the railway. The others didn't take much notice to Frank's remark. The next day he stayed in the shed. He had decided to go on strike. At least until the small controller showed up. Frank. Why are you on strike? Because I was not in that book written about us. Maybe the writer didn't know about you. He was only here for two days. You were on your maintenance trains the entire time remember? I remember. Don't worry. I'll make sure that you are included in one of the Railway series books in the future. Then Frank decided to go off strike. <laughs>